let's talk a tiny bit about traits. They're sort of one of those irritating things that don't quite make sense because they are just very similar to something you already know, but they're not quite the same. So they're not quite like interfaces and they're not quite like abstract base classes. One of the things that distinguishes them is that they are not completely part of the type. You can have a definition of a trait and yet not actually be able to access the methods that are implemented. Let me show you what I mean. Here is a happy little function main and we are going to be printing a string to this terminal. Like we've got an out variable and we want to print that. And so I'll start by just giving some text to print out and extending the original. Now I can print out. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's add a little bit of complexity by sort of prepending the hello and a comma. Now I've got these two uh, plus equals operations and hello Tim is right there. So now I think, oh, let's refactor because I've got such complexity that I think, you know what, it'd be really great if I could just replace my two calls with one macro. The right macro takes uh, some place to write to, in our case it's the out variable, and a format string as well as any variables that are being substituted in there. Now we are altering the out variable in, in the last line printing it out. We find that there's actually a compiler error. And the thing to focus on is the very last two lines. The following trait is implemented, but not in scope. Hmm, perhaps add a use for it. Standard format, right. So, well, okay. So we try that. We add the trait into local scope. And then all of a sudden, the thing actually works. Last of all, just test this. Let's just, blah, blah, blah. Last of all, Let's just test this out in the playground and just confirm what we have already seen. Here's our little piece of code again. If I omit the trait, then I get a compile warning, oh sorry, a compile error, and I'm invited to import the uh, trait definition into local scope. Now we get a compile warning about the use of the macro but uh, we still actually get the output that we were originally intending. So there you go. You can see that traits are not completely unified with their types. We can define traits like write for types like string, but in order to access them from our programs, we need to bring the traits into local scope. I hope that's been a fun intro. If you're interested in a longer version, let me know and I will create one. Have fun.